back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. It's Valentine's Day. Well, not Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day month. <laughs> it's February and we're full of love. Do you love the new studio set? I just, I've never decorated for Valentine's, but I thought, you know what? We're having a lot of fun uh, just getting creative with these shows. So I hope that you are filled and surrounded with love and uh, we're gonna bring you some love either way today. So today we're talking about how to ask for referrals as a travel agent. So if you want to learn how to get more referral business, if you want to say, if you wanna learn what to say to your clients to actually refer you, and if you wanna learn about some innovative ways to get referral generators activated in your business, then keep on watching, that's what we're talking about today. All right, guys, welcome back. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube on the Cindy Williams channel. We put out new content for you every single week to help you grow and supersize your travel business, and you don't wanna miss any of our amazing free content that comes out. Also, if you're new here, I wanted to say welcome. My name is Cindy Williams. You probably don't know me if you're new here, and I've been in the travel industry over 25 years. I've run six and seven figure businesses for over a decade, and I also am the CEO of Careers on Vacation, which helps people launch, grow, and supersize travel businesses all over the world. And I also happen to own my own award-winning travel agency. So yes, two uh, fun companies that we have going on and everything travel related because that's what we love. So if you're new, just type new below in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you and just welcome you to our community. And with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Today we're discussing how to get more referrals as a travel agent. So while I am not a fan of having just one type of marketing avenue in your business, referrals should always be a part of your marketing mix. If you watch my other videos or if you've uh, been in our Cruise on Vacation Mastermind, we teach how to create a multifaceted marketing plan and put marketing systems in place. Recruiting, I'm sorry, not recruiting, referrals is one of those that you want to have in your marketing mix or recruit recruiting referrals from other clients. That's what you want to definitely have as part of your marketing mix. Why, you might ask, referrals is actually the highest quality of type of lead that you can have. Think about this. If you're buying a car, if you are going on a certain vacation and you talk to a friend or family member who's been there or they used a certain person to help them navigate a purchase and they were really pleased, they're going to make the decision to work with you and buy from you so much faster because it's coming from a personal refer referral. Uh, there was actually a study done on this a few years ago and it showed that referrals close three times as fast as a regular cold lead or someone who doesn't know you that you're just building a rapport and a relationship with. So that's why referral business, when you can have it as a regular part of your process, are really good leads to have in your marketing mix. So don't let it be your only source of leads, but always include it in your mix. So let me start by asking a question. For those of you who are already agents and uh, have been doing this a while, what is the biggest sale you've ever gotten from a referral client? We've had times in our agency where someone will book a little Las Vegas weekend, but then they refer their brother who does a $50,000 safari in Africa, right? So I would love to know like, what is the biggest sale you've ever seen? I really would like to motivate our new agents. And so go ahead and put that in the comments for us. And uh, I mean, I can't tell you how many times a little trip has equaled a huge referral or a giant group or a destination wedding. So you never know where referral business is going to lead. And by the way, if you are brand new and you're not even maybe in the travel industry yet and you're watching this video going, is this for me? Like who, like what, do, could I be in the travel agent? Are travel agents still a thing? Those are common things that people wonder and we get hundreds of questions every single week, which is why I created a free masterclass. So if you're thinking about getting into the industry, I'm gonna direct you over to our masterclass. It's called the five shifts to a six figure travel business and beyond. And you can get a totally free seat by using the link that you see on screen. I'll also put it below. It's careersonvacation.com forward slash masterclass. We'll teach you all about the different ways to get into the industry and help you decide if it's even for you uh, and a fit for what your whatever your personal goals are. So with that, let's dive into referrals. For those of you who are like, yes, Cindy, I'm already an agent or I'm thinking about it. I know I need to 
to lean in on this referral uh, lead situation, right? So the first thing I wanna start with, with having a robust referrals come through your business. The first thing before you think about processes or programs or how to ask for it, is you need to make sure your service is amazing. You have to start with service. Are you following up after every vacation? Are you doing a great job for your clients? Are you making sure that your service is worthy of referring? So making sure you have good customer service, you have a recurring business model, your clients are happy, you have processes in place, so you know you're doing a great job. As long as that is in line, then you wanna start putting a referral program in place. If you know you need work on getting, doing better for your clients, delivering better service, or having them have a better experience overall, you may wanna pause and work on that first and then get into really uh, putting a referral system in place. So if there's something you need to upgrade to wow your clients, do that step first. But if you know you deliver great service, you know you're doing a great job, what are you waiting for? You need to get that referral business. So the goal is encouraging a recurring business model. And what I mean by that is taking care of your existing clients that you have, having them come back trip after trip, vacation after vacation, all of the things, that's a good sign that you're ready. And booking for established clients and referrals, remember it's always easier than hunting down new business every day because if those people you're already doing recurring business with and you've created a recurring business model, they're gonna be much more likely to refer friends and family because they know, love, and trust you already. So it's much easier than hunting down fresh leads, especially if you're on a budget, you're not doing a lot of paid marketing, referral business can really help you out when you're kind of in the beginning stages of your business for sure. But even for those of you who have been around forever, you should have good referral systems in place. You might be missing boatloads of cash by not having a good referral system in place. So assuming service is top notch, that we've developed a recurring business model and you're ready, here's some ideas to get referrals flowing into your business. Number one, Think about a referral program. Maybe give your referring client a $50 gift, a $50 gift card, or a $50 agency credit for their next resort vacation. Think about that and you're like, oh, I don't I don't wanna give someone $50 every time they refer someone. Well, do the math on it. If they're referring someone and you're gonna make a commission that's over $50, which is every commission pretty much out there, <laughs> then you're going to be already in a plus factor because they're, they are gonna, if your service is good, they should be doing vacations with you again and again and again. And most of the time, a commission is gonna be 500, 800, 1,000, depending on the type of vacation they have. So that is a tiny fragment. Think of it as a cost of doing business. A referral program is a cost of doing business. If you take that same $50 and spend it on Facebook ads or Google ads or Instagram ads or all the other millions of places and platforms Forms that you can send ad money to, you're gonna generate leads that maybe close, maybe don't, or maybe you don't generate any leads at all for $50. That can totally happen if you don't know what you're doing on ad platforms. So $50 is a very small amount to budget in to potentially have another recurring client who's going to do business faster because it became because it came by way of a referral. So think about implementing a referral program. That can really be transformative to generate more referrals in your business. So, the other thing I want to remind you is are you doing follow-up calls with your clients after they get home from vacation? This is something that should be in your service protocol and probably why you, you're ready to do referrals is checking in. How did your vacation go? Any feedback? And you know, how was that how was everything when you were on your trip? When you do those follow-up calls, or if you're sending emails, make sure you're reminding people about your referral program and thank them for supporting your small business. That may seem small, but in the climate that we are in in the world today, people really want to support small businesses. So taking that moment to go, thank you so much for supporting our small business, that really means a lot to our family. Just reminding people that they've done something in kindness for you by referring, allows them to do it the next time as well. So, and then also if you have clients who are referring you all the time, you always have those 
few clients that are like those Pied Pipers that are just you know screaming how great you are from the rooftops, make sure you are really treating those clients well. Send them a special something on their next vacation or send them a gift out of the blue that says, thank you so much for continuing to, re to refer our business. It means so much to our family. As we grow our business, we really count on uh, client referrals and, and you've been such a great advocate for our business. We really appreciate it. Taking the time to do that extra step is only gonna make them refer you more and continue to do it. So think about implementing that in your service protocols as well. Another thing you can do to remind people about your referral business is to create an email campaign. Remind people about your referral program in your emails. Put it in there as a call to action. Kind of implement it here and there and sprinkle it through so you're constantly reminding people. You tell people once and you think, okay, I've done my job, I told them once. That's not how it works. You gotta encourage, you have to entice, you have to remind because let's face it, we all got 12 million things to do. So their primary job is not gonna be to refer you out unless you're doing these extra steps of letting them know how much it means to you, reminding them about the program, sending gifts if you promise to do gifts or set, or paying them when whatever your referral program is going to be, paying them on time. Doing those things will make people refer again and again. The other thing that you can do is you can create a marketing piece to put inside their thank you or welcome home cards. So if you send them a thank you when they book a vacation or you send them out trip documents or you send them a welcome home card, if you do any of those in your service protocols, maybe have just a little marketing piece you can slide in there that says, hey, do you have friends and family that are traveling? It would mean so much to us if you refer us to help our small business. So it's just one more thing to hold in their hands and maybe even like a little coupon or a little something at the bottom that says, earn $50 every time you refer a new client to our agency. Thank you so much for your support. So those are like implementing a, a referral program in your agency, whether you are a, a single travel agent or you are a big agency, either way you can implement those systems and processes. I wanna tell you about a, a couple other ways that you can generate some referral business. So you guys may have heard of these and I'm, on, I'm gonna tell you about it, but I'm also gonna say, personally, I don't do this and I'm not a big fan, but I'll tell you why, because it does really work for some people. Some people really like referral-based networking groups. These are groups like BNI or like women's groups or like Chamber of Commerce. Sometimes you'll get these business groups and they'll meet like once a month or once a week and they commit to referring business to each other. So um, when I was first launching my very, very first business like 12 plus years ago, I, I was invited to one of these and I was like, wow, this is really cool. Like this person gave him three leads. This one gave him two, this one gave him one. But then I read the contract and I said, you have to be at this breakfast at 6 a.m. every Wednesday. And I was like, listen, I have a kids that get sick and things that, you know, things that were, it was like, I was a young mom and it just, I wasn't in the place where I could get up at 5.30 in the morning and be at a breakfast every Wednesday. And if you didn't make one, then you got kicked out. It was like a whole, it was like a lot of rules with a networking group sometimes. So I don't like to, have that pressure on myself to have so much structure when it comes to extra marketing activities. I'd rather pay more cash money and just generate leads through other sources and I where I don't have to get up at five in the morning or you know feel guilty if, if my daughter need, needed me there. So at any rate, I, I don't love them. I don't participate in them, but I have worked with a lot of clients that love them. They love, and some of them meet in the afternoon. It's not like they're all morning, just in my area of the country it was. So some of them love them and they generate anywhere from five to 20 leads a month through those networking groups. So I thought it was worth mentioning if that's something and you're a social animal and, and you have the avail availability and you're willing to kind of uh, participate and, and at the level you need to, to be successful in a group like that, sometimes those can be great too. So I'm just passing that on, food for thought. Um, the other thing you wanna think about whenever you book a group, a destination wedding, um, a hyper curated vacation where lots of people are going, if you're doing any of this group type booking, consider a thank you gift where you, because remember you're dealing mostly with that main person on the group who's making the decisions, you know, you're kind of working through that Pied Piper type person but you have maybe 10, 15, 20, 50 other families, depending on how big the group is, think about creating something that you can put in their thank you gift with their thank you gift that says $50 off your next resort vacation. Of course, you can put a minimum amount so to make sure you're not, it's not gonna cost you anything, but you're taking that $50 as a cost of 
doing business out of your commission, but you get that opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with that family, book them a vacation, and guess what? Now you're plugging them into your recurring business model, and now even if you net 10 more families that become regular clients out of that group of 30 or 40, that's 10 more clients. Like, yes, you're paying a little bit of that commission, but you're doing it because the, that's smart marketing, right? So think about that when you have your next group. Like, how can I... Uh, throw out a gift or encourage them to do business with me in the future. Those are one of the, some of the things that we've used in the past as an agency that work amazing. And if you do a great job on that group vacation, they're going to think of you when they're going to Hawaii and going to Jamaica and going to Europe and all the other places that they may be considering traveling in the near future. Um, so guys, I hope these were some great tips for you for how to ask for referrals as a travel agent. I know in the world of marketing, if you are new to marketing systems, getting more leads, closing more sales, if this is all new to you, but you know this is what you've been searching for to kind of get implemented in your business. Today we just talked about referrals, but that is literally just the beginning in terms of how much marketing you can put in place. There's a lot of free marketing, a lot of optimization that can be done so you don't have to do it with big budgets, but there are smart things you should be doing with your business on a regular basis. So if you are ready to take your business to the next level and move it out of hobby state and get it into a fully, uh, operating supersized travel business, we'd love to encourage you to apply for our Careers on Vacation program. That is our 12-week mastermind where we help you grow and supersize your travel business. It's an ASTA-affiliated travel school, our program is, and all of my team you get access to, the same team that helped me grow from six figures a year to six figures a month, it is the same team. And plus you get to jump on a call with me like that one right there every single week. And uh, we have amazing content in there to help you every step of the way. This is also the program you've heard about on YouTube, right? We just hit over a hundred case studies last month. We're so excited about this. This is people just like you that decided they wanted to be a travel agent or start a travel business from home. They worked with us in the Careers on Vacation program and now they are launched and selling travel and traveling the world and doing all the fun things. So if that resonates with you, I encourage you to go to careersonvacation.com forward slash ready now and you can apply for our next session for Careers on Vacation. And guys, if you loved this video, if it gave you some great content, you know, some new ideas, please give us a like and thumbs up on social, uh, on that YouTube video and, and follow us over on social. If you want to see where I'm traveling, I'm all over Instagram and TikTok and we have another free group over on Facebook that's really cool to check out. So definitely encourage you to go all of those places and we invite you to, to come into our community and just connect. We'd love to get to know you. So guys, I love you so much. I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world and I will see you next week. like that last video, make sure you check out my other content to help you grow and scale your very own travel business. And also I invite you to travel around the world with me and find out what I'm doing in my portable, profitable, award-winning travel business. Check out the videos.